different Omicrons, and both kind of look the same. Both are lightweight, both have a diffusion panel mounted on the front, and both have a super simple single control knob that adjusts the continuous light. There's where the similarities end. Omicron 3 is a continuous output LED ring light that connects to almost all of the turbo batteries, both new and old. Now you can turn it on and adjust the brightness with the control knob, of course, and you can connect the low-cost Quantum Co-Pilot right to your camera and plug it in here, and that will allow you to enable the Omicron 3's flash function. Manual, TTL, good-looking flash. The engineers at Quantum have figured out how to make these LEDs flash four times brighter than the maximum continuous power setting. Isn't that crazy? That means the flash pop is two stops brighter than it glows. Very cool. Or should I say bright idea? Oh, I hate cheap puns. Yeah, you can control the flash in manual exposure mode in one-third stop increments. Or if you shoot Canon or Nikon, you can shoot in TTL exposure mode. At the time of recording this video, Quantum is working on TTL compatibility for Lumix G-Series cameras, Olympus OMD cameras, and my beloved Fuji X-Series <laughs> is getting a little work over from the Quantum folks, but the Quantum folks don't want me to mention that to you, so pretend we didn't talk about this, okay? Okay. Omicron 4 moves hybrid lighting in a different direction. Sure, you can turn it on, and just like the Omicron 3, you can adjust the power up and down and have really great flicker-free continuous light, but the Omicron 4 is a little brighter at the top end, and it goes down a little lower on the low end, and it's a much smoother control in between that max bright output and that minimum bright output. Now, the Omicron 4 does not flash, but it does have a really delicious adjustable color temperature feature that allows you to dial in the exact color temperature of the light from 6500K to 2500K. Wow. Let me show you how this works. You should power your Omicron 4 using the Turbo 3 battery or the Battery 8 pack. Then turn it on, adjust the brightness with the cool control panel setting here, anywhere between 1 and 100% of power with 100 obviously being the brightest. Then press the control knob one time to adjust the color temperature. And press it again to return back to your power adjustment. It's really that simple. Now if you want to store a particular power setting plus color temperature combination for a future shoot, piece of cake. Press and hold the control button until the program mode pops up. Then choose a storage slot number from 1 to 8. Both Omicrons are professional broadcast quality light that you can use for photo and video anytime, anywhere. Either you use the Omicron mounted to your camera as a main light or as a fill light, or you can mount an Omicron into a softbox or an umbrella to use it off camera as well. In fact, you'll see me in other videos using this as all kinds of different lights from background lights, fill lights, and even a hair light. Ready to learn a little more about the Omicron? Well, head on over to qtm.com slash Omicron.